Welcome in to another episode of Profits Picks. We have one game on the slate today. We'll look at the side. We'll look at the total. And after that, we'll take a look at some player props and even a series price in this one today. Try to make as much money as we can as many different ways as possible. And we'll start it off. We'll go Lakers opening minus six and a half. We're currently seeing minus six out there. Total opening 215.5. And we're down to 214 and a half. Now, I definitely understand the, the move on this total. Uh, I'm expecting some, some defensive adjustments. I mean, the more the series goes on, the more I expected it to be an under. Or an under type series. And in this game, I mean, if you do like the over, I think you have to take it early. And the first half throughout the regular season, uh, they've been averaging about six more points. And the last three games, it's been way higher scoring. We have the Lakers averaging 61 points in the first half of the last three games. Denver averaging 57.3. And in the second half, LA drops down almost a full 10 points. And Denver drops down about four points. So second half is where overs have gone to die. So if you like the over, I'm looking at that first, first half. But in general... I'm looking at the Lakers game plan and how I hear their interviews going. And I hear Frank Vogel say, we need to be more aggressive. We need to be more physical. And uh, I hear LeBron saying, or LeBron or Frank Vogel is one of the two that they need to get out and run. But their defense is what, what starts that. Their defense minded team first. And I think that's what was lacking. They've been letting Jamal Murray go off and do whatever he wants. Uh, they've been leaving small bodies on Jokic, and I think we see that change here tonight. So, f for that reason, and in general, these teams, but I mean, Denver's playing at a slow pace. They just have been shooting very efficient. Uh, they also out-rebounded the Lakers by about almost 20, more chances for uh, second-chance points. I just think that um, we see more defense in this one here. And Nuggets play slow. Even if the Lakers get some stops defensively and get out and run, that means that Denver is not scoring. So I'm, I'm agreeing with the line move. I'll go under that 214.5. And on the side, you know, I definitely understand how you can say the values on Denver. They've been a covering machine um, in the playoffs. Especially if you take away the game ones or after game ones. When they're getting these many points, it's hard to not take them. You know this team is not going to quit. A team that will fight to the end, fight every game. It seems like a good look. But at the same time, the Lakers are not a team that I want to step in front of off of a loss. And not a team that I want to step in front of when they're focused. I mean, when I look at both of these teams, I still think LA is the superior team. And I don't think necessarily Denver can stop L.A. defensively. On the flip side, I think the Lakers can, can limit Denver quite a bit. It's just a matter of them being focused and doing it. I also think that Lakers hinder themselves on offense by settling for too many jump shots. We, I heard Frank Vogel say that as well, that they need to attack the paint. And they're much better doing that. And he's right. Looking at LeBron, I think he was 11 for, for 14 in that paint. And I don't think Anthony Davis missed a shot in the paint. So we need to stop settling for so many jump shots and attack that paint. LeBron, I mean, they're complaining about LeBron shooting free throw, uh, only 10 free throws in the series, which is an extremely low number. But we need him to be in attack mode all game long. He's a mismatch for the Denver Nuggets. He needs to be aggressive offensively. And I, I think we get that here tonight. I think that Lakers have a focus to get into that paint and not settle. And I think they get a, a lot of good looks. And I think they play good defense. I think they make defensive adjustments. Uh, for example, when I'm saying things like that, I'm thinking you look back to that Portland series. Um, you look back to uh, Rocket series. After they got a win, the Lakers said, okay, we see what's going on. We see what's killing us. We're going to take the ball out of Damian Lillard's hand. We're going to take the ball out of James Harden's hand. And I think that's what we see here from Jamal Murray, or to Jamal Murray. 
I think they're going to blitz him, double team him, whatever you want to call it, and get the ball out of his hand and make the other uh, players uh, make some shots. And as well, Jokic, he had a good fourth quarter in that game two, and he had a good first quarter in that game three. And I don't know why the Lakers took so long to make an adjustment, but they left too many small bodies on him, and he's just going to bully and have his way. Once they get a bigger guy, um, a physical guy, like Vogel said, they need to be more aggressive, they need to be more physical, a guy like Dwight, you're not pushing him around anymore. It becomes a lot more difficult. So I think the Lakers make it more difficult for Denver to score here. And I'm looking at them uh, minus that six points. I talked previously about how the Lakers are a lot better in the first half. And Denver is not. They're kind of the opposite. They're better in the second half. I can understand the Lakers' first half play here. I'm not mad at it at all. I just think that the Lakers, that Denver has the Lakers' focus for an entire game here tonight. And when... I didn't mention, but we're not even sure. The Lakers could also throw in, mixing that. So they, they do the zone out there. Six straight turnovers for the Denver State. So that's something that you have to think about. And as well with this six-point uh, spread, nine of the ten playoff wins for the Lakers, they, they all would have covered six points. Um, they've won. Uh, their ten games they won. They won by an average of 12.5 points per game. So I don't think the number should scare you. And on the other side, if you like Denver, I would say, I mean, when they've been a dog, they've been winning some games. So you probably want to take them on the money line. I like the Lakers. Uh, let's look at some props here. Before we move to player props, actually, series prop. Like I said, I'm not stepping in front of the Lakers off of a loss while they're focused. I think Denver has their attention here in this game. And Lakers winning straight up. That seems... Very doable. And if the Lakers win this game, I'm not quite sure that there is a let up in the next game. I know that Denver's been feisty. Denver's not going to give up. But I think Denver, like I said, has the Lakers' attention. And they see Miami up 3-1 over there on the other side. They have to get things done. So I like the Lakers prop. Uh, Lakers in five. That's even money right now. And even if the Lakers win tonight with that, if you feel like you want to, you can come back and hedge the next game. Denver should be some plus money so you can get a guaranteed profit as long as the Lakers win tonight. So uh, that's the way that I look for in a series prop. And as far as player props, Vogel, he said that they need to stop selling. They need to attack the paint, like I said. So I'm looking for LeBron and Anthony Davis to shoot less three-pointers in this game and to be in attack mode. So I see LeBron's three-pointer at 2.5. It may be down to two or I, because I don't want it to be too juiced, but I would go under two or 2.5 three-pointers for LeBron. Anthony Davis was at 1.5. It may be the same. It may be juiced or it may have gone down to one. I'm fine with the one, but I don't think they hit two or more three-pointers tonight. So I'm looking at those. And who has the biggest matchup advantage? It's LeBron James. Nobody can guard him here in this in this game. And as long as he's in attack mode, he can get whatever he wants in that painted area. So I like him to score 27.5 or more points. And we all know Anthony Davis didn't show up as a big man, per se. Only two rebounds in that last game. Unacceptable. He said he has to be better. I think he can get 10 tonight. Uh, his rebound total is 9.5, and we'll go over that. I'll do a quick recap of what I'm looking at on the total. I'm looking towards the under 214.5. Looking at the Lakers on the full game, minus the six. Looking at, uh, for taking a series prop, I'll take Lakers in five at even money. LeBron James under two or 2.5 three-pointers. Anthony Davis under one or 1 1.5 three-pointers. LeBron James over 27.5 points. And Anthony Davis over 9.5 rebounds. Thank you for rocking with me on another episode of Profits Picks. Best of luck if you're telling. Good luck on all of your action. We have one more day of the week. Uh, let's get after it again tomorrow.